Pretty excited today, it's the first of my tribute brews. <laughs> G'day guys, Beer Healer here and welcome to Tribute Day in the Beer Healer Shed. What's Tribute Day I hear you ask? Well, it's a day when I brew a beer that is a tribute to an absolute classic, the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Now look, in the homebrew world there's a lot of people that just want to make exact copies of um, original recipes, which is fine and good on them because they get them pretty damn close, but for me, I like to create tribute beers because I know I'm never going to probably get it absolutely bang on. But close enough is good enough to me because it reminds me of that beer that I love so much. Now the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale was one of the first craft beers that I ever drank and it was really the one that opened my eyes to what this craft beer thing was all about. The colour, the aroma, the taste, just amazing and it was the start of my craft beer journey really. So today we're paying tribute to Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. So guys this is just how easy it is to put your recipe into brewery. So this is mine here for today, the Sierra Pale. So I go in here. And you can see there's four steps there that's going to take me through um, in getting this recipe ready to rock and roll. Now, it's pretty simple. Uh, in the future, you're going to be able to upload recipes into Brewery, but for now, it's a manual typing effort, which isn't really too much trouble whatsoever. And uh, you're just taking the recipe details from, from Beersmith, in my case, and then transferring them over into the Brewery with a few little mods uh, based on how Brewery works. And uh, thanks very much to the guys on the Facebook page and the Aussie Home Brewer page for helping me work out some of the intricacies around how to um, change my recipe over for brewery. So you can see here I've got the mash in, I've got the sparge. All you do is go down into here and modify, and that's how you can put in your new numbers. Uh, next step, go over here. We've got my, my four-step mash going on here. So you can see 54 degrees, 15 minutes, and so on. So again, if I was to press modify, you'll just see that's where you go and put in the extra steps, and you can delete them out if you want. And then next step is where you put your hop in so the, the hop cage numbers and how long they're going to be in there for and then finally you move on over to the cooling cool it down to 21 degrees and away you go so as i said really really simple to do this and um yeah i look forward to creating more recipes as, as we move along well as you saw the recipe's all plugged in hop cages are all done the grains all being milled up and ready to rock and roll all we're going to do is press brew and then we can get this tribute rocking and rolling. So as you can see here on the front screen, I'm using the automatic water inlet today. Hooked up the hose through the uh, the filter and we're ready to rock and roll with all this water coming in through the back, which is awesome. Now look, just while we're doing that, I just want to have a quick chat about, um, about brewing in general. Look, when I bought this thing, I thought it was going to be all about automating things that I, that I did, which, which it actually is. But there's something more that I've learned just recently with all this uh, talk about creating my own recipes and getting help on Beersmith and all that sort of stuff. It's just the fact that my brewing in the past was very, very simple. Three vessels, a bit of gas, and basically throw the malt in, put some water over it, vol off, drain, and be done. Nothing to do with mash, stepping, or controlling temperature, or anything like that. Now what Brewery has opened my eyes to is all those extra steps where you can control the temperature and take the grains through a number of different mash steps along the way to get more out of those grains and make better beers. So, uh, cheers to you Brewery, I'm hoping this one's going to turn out an absolute cracker. Here we are currently doing the mash. And I would say everything's pretty nicely covered there, so those uh, mash calculations that you guys have helped me out with seem to be working just right. So here you can see these are the steps in my mash process. Uh, if you look now down at the screen, you can see that we are currently heading up to that third step and brewery is just uh, raising the temperature of the water there now. Something I've never done with my brewery in the past because I just didn't have the equipment so uh, this is awesome. I'm breaking every brewery law right now but as you can see this beer is sparging from the right hand tank, the mash tun back over here to the hot liquor tank and then uh, transferring the wort back over the top of the grains. This is awesome. Alright, so we've got the uh, brew on the left hand side, all the sparge is done, just preparing for the ball. So I'm just going to take a quick little sample of the liquid. Oh, it's looking pretty nice there in the glass, nice little colour. Happy with that? Smells great, let's taste it. That is sweet. Oh, I'm so excited about this beer. Quick shot there of the way the uh, hops are added to the boil. You can see hop container number one is full of liquid and being added to the boil as we speak. Once that one's finished, it's time for the next one. The second container will fill up with liquid and away we go. You might be able to hear the pumps doing its thing again as it moves the uh, wort over the top of hop vessel number two. Pretty cool. 
Well there you go, just finished doing its uh, boil and now it's time to cool the work down. So we've got the hose attached and uh, time to cool this baby. Gee, that looks good. Smells great too. Pretty happy with the uh, boil this time. No boil over, as you can see, it's only just risen that much. So that's gonna make it really nice and easy to get it clean. Pretty impressed with that. Inside about 10 minutes, it's already down to 28 degrees. Not bad. Alrighty, so there we go. The yeast is in the fermenter and hopefully away we go. So how did we go today? I was pretty happy with the brew. Uh, the machine worked beautifully. Uh, the recipe was pretty close, I think you would say. You can probably hear the machine just cleaning itself as we speak right now. Um, I've got about 15 litres into the fermenter here, which is slightly below what I thought I would have gotten. And my target gravity was meant to be 1.054, and I've only hit 1.046. So I still think that for me, uh, with my knowledge, there's a few little tweaks that I need to be doing. So I might shout out to some of you in uh, the user groups to uh, talk this brew through and see what I uh, need to tweak to make sure I hit my um, original gravity spot on. But uh, look, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Hope you can leave me some tips or can share some of your tips with uh, other people who are watching this video. Uh, until we talk again in the Beer Healer Shed for a brew or a beer review, cheers to great beers. Mm -hmm.